So I'm Dr. Priya Gajwal from India and presenting uh, the Ithu Bodhi on policy. And particularly, I'd like to show how the people of Northeast India are culturally associated with this particular family. Uh, yes, it is known to almost all of us that India have a very biodiversity, particularly the Northeast India, because of the two biodiversity hotspots, the Eastern Himalaya and India. So, we do have more than 8,000 flowering plants. And the interesting is that if you see the North East India, we do have 3, 000, 300, more than 300 indigenous communities. So that North East India, we have at least eight states, political states, where in each state you get more than 10 or 20 tribal communities. And to find out the interest of this ethno, our ethno of the Morrissey, we try to find out the relationship of the species with the communities and we have studied the discussion or ethnobotanical interest with the communities, selected three important states and particularly the ordinance of this Assam and Meghalaya. I will show you this is the northeastern region of India. So I am working with the ordinance for this and this is the major part, the plain area is Assam and we have eastern Himalayan that side border into China, we have Myanmar, border into Nagaland, Manipur. So all this, and apart from this, we have a part, as you were seeking, linked with the Bhutan Himalaya. So the more than 300 indigenous communities are residing in these areas. So we have lots of type of forest, rich with various plants. We have medicinal plants, like Kapistita and then into Ornansal. Texas, Tamils, Middle this, this is the pizza plants of Meghalaya, insectivorous plants, very unique to our region. We have Odophyllum, we have Elysium, Himalayan Yew, a lot. Likewise, we do have lots of animal. Interestingly, each of these states they possess rich traditional culture and thus giving a glimpse of one particular desert tribal community or indigenous. You can multiply by 10 for each state, minimum. So these are some of the important festivals, the dresses, the culture of the communities. And of course, if you go in the remote areas, forest areas, other people are linked with the biodiversity, how it's their livelihood. So <coughs> We try to study the taxonomy, particularly the diversity of the family Morrissey, studying with the Eastern Himalayan part. And till now we have collected <coughs> seven species, and which are dominated mostly under the genus Pygus, followed by Apocarpus, Morus, Magnora. Then <coughs> these species are found to be distributed mostly in the tropical and subtropical forest. Initially, when we started our work, we thought they are only dominated in the tropical part, but later on we found they are mostly <coughs> some of these species are found in temperate <coughs> beyond 1500 meters of sea. So these are some of the habitats of those species we have collected from the forest. Uh, with interesting frog fruits, interesting trunks, and maybe because of such interesting look. The people believe this particular group of plants are having some unique uh, relation and they believe these are the habitat of gods and goddess or some natural dead. That's why they never destroy these species when they look in the earth. So <laughs> these are the some of the important interesting. Apart from the diversity. <laughs> Also, this ficus also support the diversity of animal too, particularly the ants. So when we try to dissect, uh, try to find out the floral characteristic feature about the wallflower and the bellflower, 
we could see something interesting in our microscope. We will try to get a picture of this. So later on we found, he said, ant coming out from the golf club. I do not know what exactly <coughs> this one, but this is an interesting feature to study by the help in polynism. And they found this is the safe, safest place home for them. See the whole algae in the fruits. This is the fig, and it has become the home of large number of insects. Particularly, the ants love to get inside and see, and they lay eggs inside the golf shop. So, so later we do have lots of species. Most of them are here in Dibu. When we try to find out the hypnobotical uses, uh, we have documented more than 30 species which have been mostly neglected. And this, when we try to categorize, we found these species can be mostly grouped as the mythological or sacred plants, food, fruits, vegetable, medicine, food, plants of sericulture, firewood, a bonsai, avenue, and some common other uses. So when we try to again find out, classify them, it is found that maximum food are 22 number of plants are used food, are, but at the same time, 11 species are used commonly as a food plants, followed by vegetable and fuel would be interesting. At the ornamental, the 12 species, although it is not being commonly practiced by the local community, but then also in the mainland, these 12 species of fighters are being used as an ornamental bonsai. So we try to plot or see the different type of uses. Apart from the major uses, we do have some other uses of all these fighters. Maybe sometimes they are used by uh, some uh, common purposes or are being eaten by birds. So these are the list of the species which are used in the various way. And we try to get highly preferred and utilized species. So when we try to classify with six different uses, a four species of Artocarpus hydrophil is very interesting food for us. We use as a food also Morus alba, Morus macrora, and Hycus racemosa. These species have been commonly used by <coughs> various tribal community, non tribal community, along the almost all the states of Northeast and apart from Northeast India in other mainland of India. And when you try to see the mythological and sacred value of the tree, it is already there, reported. A well document, uh, all the species are documented and we uh, find the value of uh, ficus species in Indian culture or Hindu mythology. But again, but at the same time, when you try to find out the uses by the tribal or indigenous community, uh, apart from the Hindu religion, uh, it is other community, they do also believe some, uh, have some relation with the ficus. And these are the, some of these aspects the people when they find some ficus. They will take or feel them as or assume them as a sacred tree. They do offer puja, and you see some temples are being made, either in making a temple or plant a ficus near the temple. Another interesting feature of this, I can tell you one story here. Generally, in India, what happens? Uh, ficus religiosa, which is sacred plants. Here you have to see two trees. One is this part is Ficus altissima, the second, the other part is Ficus religiosa. Generally, we used to plant two Ficus together as a symbol of male and female god. The Lord Shiva is wife Parvati. So, when these two species, when they grow, and in any time when they cross two branches during the growth, and we feel they are matured, and a marriage ceremony will be performed for the plants. Very interesting. And these two plants will never be destroyed. And now see, in almost all the areas, when you go or visit the stairs, along the roadside, you will find one ficus religiosa, and along with altissima or benevolences. The later we have a lot of edible species, and in the edible species, the hydrophila is very interesting for us. The young fruits as a vegetable, and the ripe fruits as a fruits, as a food, has been sold in the market throughout the country, and particularly the people of Northeast India, 
And interestingly, I have found during my PhD work, I was doing for some other Piper group, I visited one remote area where generally this plant is being cultivated generally in North East India. I found in a river site, in a tropical subtropical area, that along the river the plant is being commonly distributed and being naturalized. Later we just found that yes, people do take the fruits for the work when the work roads have been constructed and the fruits have been dispersed. Ultimately, along the river you will get the good natural population of this species, like with Atopopus thama, Hycus semicordata, small fruit, but <coughs> is being commonly eaten by the people, Hycus nervosa. See, when I try to test some fruits, ultimately I had to test a lot of ants. I didn't know that ants are few. Yeah, Hycus. This is Hydrophyla, Hygus Hitter, Hygus Resimosa, and these are the kind of vegetable there with the youth, the shoots, <coughs> the young shoots, and particularly this Hygus Elastica. Even I have seen study there in process. This Elastica shoot is very interesting. It can be roasted, it can be taken as a chutney, almost, almost all the parts of North Sting. And particularly people of seeking, they love to get the plants. Whenever they see the red shoot, they will just run and they will plant that. So it is sour in the test, and you can make pickle and chutneys. Yes, it is domesticated, very interesting. And the thing that is being the fruits are edible again. The people use them as a timber too. In many cases, I have seen the platform of this house. They used to get some timber of hikers. It is easy to split there for the local people. Do not know it big machinery to get the work done. So they prefer to get some of the branches or the lower of the hydras or borers. And this is an interesting species which support the income of the people. And in Assam particularly, the Assam seed, the borers alba. But at the same time, in the rural areas, apart from the sericulture use, the leaves are very commonly for food particularly for the cotton cows. It is the one interesting species used for food art too. So this species supports the income to the local or the poor communities. Apart from other interests, yeah, the species are being used for bonsai. This is one interesting aspect of the crop of tigers and this is in Meghalaya. This crop is used as a hanging bridge and you can love to work on that. Some of the traditional beliefs. I will try to get the actual cultural link with the community. So it is to ask this community, what is your belief actually? In most of the cases, because of maybe we feel that the specific characteristic feature of the trunk, in many cases, these fighters and moras are particular fighters are being believed the king of the forest. Okay, so in many cases, for private community, they never destroy the species. If they have to cut one plant for some uses, they perform rituals, ceremonies, and satisfy the gods, please, we are going to cut these trees, please help us. So they never destroy. So this uh, relationship, that, that particular belief of Tabata are helping to conserve the species. So before cutting the trees, the pujas are being performed commonly and in many cases the trees are home of God and God says so please don't destroy it. And however they clear the forest for June or shifting cultivation when they spot some tiger tree or moras, they never destroy it. They will retain the tree as it is. So it is helping for conservation. So here I have given some of the belief, the one two, Community, the jagatifikas are the king of all the plants. They select one god, means one particular aspect of the culture. They perform only under the tree. The Apatani tribe of Ronatal, if a person destroys the tree, his whole family would face unwanted problem. That is the belief. So they never destroy the tree. A Tamala festival is being performed by Bihar Visimi in the eastern part of Ronatal Pradesh near the side of the border. And we try to get uh, some information about the Tamala festival. 
So this uh, person is elaborating how they are generally uh, selecting this person when they look in the forest. At last, I can show some of the part here. Maybe. So people from outside, they want the tree is being spotted into the forest and they started parking puja, offering something. So the villagers will go and offer something. So this tree is believed as a king or the gods are being decided. So when they, whenever they have take rest in the forest, they laugh to Pifa in this tree or they prefer to select a tree and uh, pass their night under the tree. So that they will not be best attacked by even wild animals. So they will be protected. So that's why the species are being conjured by the community because of some strong cultural or sociocultural beliefs. Apart from this, the species are being used, they are supporting <coughs> the livelihood. So conclusion, diversity of forest is very high. The species are sociocultural strongly related to the communities and are being conjured. Some species are found source of good income generation. Ecologically, they play a very important role too and supported to various insects, plants and birds. This need more studies. So you will be carrying some higher root of some fighters. And this is the great banyan tree of Indian water. Thank you.